Hey, Mick, what's bothering you most these days? Well, it's one thing. I'm getting divorced, and I don't want to get divorced. And have you been married for 12, a while? 12 years. 12 years. Uh -huh. Do you have a family? Yeah, we have two kids. Yeah. And how do you feel about the divorce? I'm, I feel awful. I feel terrible. I can't um, get things done. I just feel awful. I see. Yeah. Okay, let me explain how uh, you, we could help you with this. And uh, certainly the way you feel is the way most people would feel in your situation, so you're not unusual in that way. However, uh, important insight here is that although it seems like your wife wanting to leave you uh, makes you feel awful, terrible, and stops you from getting things done, that's not how we work psychologically. The way we work psychologically is it's never situations themselves, no matter how bad, that causes our disturbed feelings, but rather it's our thinking about those situations, particularly demands, musts, shoulds, supposed tos, have tos, demands we have in our head about the situation, such as I must not lose my wife, or I need her love and approval, or I must be a better husband, I'm no good as a person. But if it isn't the situations that make us feel this way, you said most people would feel this way. How can the situation not make us feel this way if most people would feel this way? Well, that's a very good question, and the answer is because most people have similar thinking about the situation. So it's the similar thinking that lead most people to feel similarly rather than the situation itself. So then what you could teach me is how to think the way that those people who aren't as bothered by the situation think? That's right. That's a good way to put it. Uh, I want to teach you how to think like an undisturbed person rather than like someone who's disturbed as you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since it's your musts and shoulds that are causing your disturbance, I must not lose her, I need her approval and love, uh, the question is, what could you do about that? And the answer is, go on to thinking about those statements, they're really hypotheses, and questioning them and asking yourself, what's the evidence my wife absolutely must not leave me even though I strongly prefer that she not leave me? Does it follow logically because I strongly desire her companionship that, therefore, I need her companionship. And also, does it work for me to tell myself this and get depressed, as opposed to having a different view of it and dealing with it much more functionally? So, so I'd be learning how to um, think about this differently so that I'd be able to deal with it more? Exactly. And not only deal with it more and deal with it better, but feel less uh, ripped up inside and less disturbed and upset about it. Well, wouldn't that help me deal with it more if I'm feeling less ripped up inside about it? Yeah, that's a good point. I think that if you feel less ripped up inside about it, you'll be able to deal with it better. And as you deal with it better, you'll probably rip yourself up inside less about it. So the two are interactive. So then you would go on to answer the questions and show yourself that uh, there's no reason why your wife must not leave you, and you can still go on with your life even though things aren't working out the way you strongly prefer. Also, it's very important to remind yourself of that original insight that it's not the bad situation itself, as egregious as it is, that causes you depression and to feel so rotten, but rather it's your thinking about it, and you can change your thinking and get rid of the musts and shoulds. Musts and shoulds are fictions. They don't exist. They're like Santa Claus. All humans tend to invent them in their heads by escalating their strong preferences into demands, but they're just ideas in our head, and we can change the ideas in our head and have a much better life. So I could be making a must about losing a softball game something that's much less important. That's and, right. And still disturbing myself. Exactly right. I've seen right. people do it. 
Yeah, yeah that's right. And the softball team, yeah. I've seen people blow a gasket over a stupid softball game, and here I am, I'm getting divorced, and they're, I'm keeping it together more than they are with the softball game. Right, so send them 